Hello, and welcome back to Job Plays. Uh, did you know that you can restream to several platforms at once without having to pay? There's actually a plugin for OBS, absolutely free. There's other platforms out there, such as Restream.io, uh, I believe Streamlabs, OBS does it. Uh, but those you have to pay in order to restream, I think, more than two different sites. So if you want to stream to Twitch, YouTube, Kick, and Facebook, uh, you have to pay some money. But thanks to a simple plugin from uh, OBS, you can do this for absolutely free. So the first thing you're gonna need is OBS Multi RTMP. Uh, I'll put a link to this down in the, in the description. Uh, this is on GitHub. So if you head to the releases and scroll down about halfway, you'll see this list of uh, releases you can download, uh, Mac OS, Linux, Windows. Uh, I'm gonna use the installer because it kind of does everything for you. If you'd like to compile your own source code, you can grab the zip file and do that. Uh, we're just gonna hit the X64 installer, let that download. Uh, once it's in your downloads, you can just double click it. Uh, it's automatically gonna put it in the OBS Studio plugins folder for you. Uh, if you want those plugins somewhere else, you can browse to it if you need to, and then just click install. Once it's done, you can hit close. At this point, I recommend that you restart OBS so it picks up the new plugin. Uh, I'm actually using OBS to record this right now. So I'm going to uh, stop this recording and I'll come back once I've restarted OBS. And we're back, I've restarted OBS after installing the multi RTMP uh, extension. Uh, if you don't see the dock up here, uh, just go to docs and go to multiple output. It should look something like this and you can dock it to the side if you need to. I'm just gonna resize this for a second. And then you'll see add new target, start all, stop all. So the best thing to do is if you head to your settings and hopefully you have all this stuff set up already, but if you don't, if you go to stream, you can do this one of two ways. You can set Twitch as your primary or you can set YouTube as your primary. Uh, Twitch is pretty easy. If you select Twitch, it'll ask you to log in with your uh, Twitch credentials, go ahead and do that and it'll connect to your Twitch account. You don't have to find your server key or your stream key uh, to get that working. Or you can choose YouTube, Facebook, whichever one. You have to have one of these set up in order for this to work. So go ahead and set up your primary. I'm gonna use Twitch just because it's already connected. Head to my output and make sure my stream information is set up correctly. Uh, don't worry about these settings. These are just for testing purposes and for this video. Uh, make sure all your other settings are set up correctly the way that you want them to, just like you would stream regularly. Click OK. Up here in multiple output, we're going to add a new target. And then we can name this new target. Uh, I'm going to go to YouTube at the same time. And I will show you where to get the RTMP server and the RTMP key as well. So RTMP server, I'm going to head over to YouTube. I'm gonna go up here to create and go live. Uh, once you're here, you're gonna set up your title, category, uh, all of your stuff. I'm not gonna go through that here. I've got a video on that somewhere else. Uh, down here in your stream keys, you're actually gonna have your stream URL and your stream key. Uh, don't show this to anybody. Uh, same for Twitch. Uh, and I'll show you how to get that key as well. Uh, so if you go over here and hit copy, head back to OBS and the key we're going to actually paste it in here and then for the stream URL we're going to copy this first one and we're going to paste this into the RTMP server uh, if your uh, streaming service requires a username and password you can put that here and then here's the cool part uh, video settings and audio settings so if you want to stream uh, different encoders and bit rates two different services, you, know, you can set all this stuff up here. However, if you wanna use the same encoder and the same uh, audio encoder, if you just use get from OBS, it's gonna use the same across the board. So if you're streaming 1080p to uh, all your services, just leave this as get from OBS and it's actually going to pull all that same information and populate this for you. Uh, sync start with OBS. So what that's gonna do is allow you to, whenever you hit start streaming on your control panel, it will start streaming to all of your uh, added targets at the same time. Uh, otherwise, you can, if you don't want to stream one day to all platforms, uh, you can uncheck this and it will stream 
to your primary, or you can hit start on the multiple output extension and it'll stream to your secondary, tertiary, wherever you want to call it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sync these. I'm going to click OK. And you'll see that YouTube is up here. If I need to modify it, I can go back in and change all these settings. But I'm going to leave it there. So OBS is set to stream at this point, set to stream to Twitch as my primary and to YouTube as my secondary. Uh, and again, uh, I'm using Git from OBS, so I'm streaming the same across all platforms. But you can change this encoder to whatever you want to. Uh, if you want to use a CPU encoder for one and your GPU encoder for another, uh, you can do that. If you want to stream separate scenes, uh, you can choose separate scenes here if you have more than one. Uh, I've only got one for this right now. Different resolutions, bit rates. So it's all pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just like setting up your primary. Uh, it just allows you to change it for your secondary. So now we're set up to stream in my settings, output, or stream. We're going to Twitch here. And then on our plugin for multiple output, we're going to YouTube. And I could actually add a new target if I wanted to. If I wanted to do Facebook, uh, I could put that in there. If I wanted to do Kick, I could put that in there. Uh, but I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to delete that target. All right, and at this point, uh, I'm going to show you how to grab your stream key from Twitch. So if you head over to your profile up here and you head to Creator Dashboard, under Settings over here, there is a Stream section. And here's your primary stream key. So again, don't show this to anyone. Copy this and paste it into your stream key. If you need an ingest server, uh, you can head over to this URL. Again, I'll put this in the, in the description as well. Uh, and you can pick your RTMP based off of the closest one to where you live. Uh, or you can use the Twitch inspector, I believe is what it's called, to uh, see which one has the lowest latency uh, from your geographic location. So you would just copy this uh, along with the stream key, put that in the RTMP. So that is your Twitch ingest server. So now that we're all set up, I'm just going to hit start streaming. And it's going to connect to YouTube. It's going to show me my bit rate and frames per second up there and time of going live. Of course, down here, we're live on Twitch as well. So if we head to YouTube, back to our uh, dashboard, you'll see that we're actually streaming my desktop here. And we're live. And if we head over to Twitch, and we head to our channel, you'll see that we're actually streaming live here as well. So there you go. Uh, it's a very straightforward and free plugin. Uh, allows you to stream to as many platforms as you want. So it's very cool, very easy, very straightforward. Uh, we like free stuff here and free stuff that works is even better. So if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments. You know, I'm always searching the comments and responding to pretty much everybody that says anything uh, good or bad. Uh, if you haven't yet, uh, like, subscribe, all that same stuff. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch, Chill Plays, uh, YouTube, just Chill Plays. Uh, but if you need anything, comment, let me know. As always, love you all. Beast.